Welcome back to Ocarina of Time, and oh my god, I am in dire straits. Last time past me did something really stupid. He pulled out the block and got crushed by the crusher, which is why we're down to one and a quarter life left. Oh my goodness. No, oh, stupid, stop that. Are you trying to climb up the wall? Because if you're not, because if you are, you're failing miserably. Push the block. Thank you. Now what you're supposed to do before that happened, keep pushing. No, 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 just, just keep pushing. Oh, you're trying to straighten it out. And I might just keep pushing. Nah, just keep pushing. Come on, stupid. Just keep pushing. Anyway, what you're supposed to do is you push until both uh, mashy spike plates are caught on the block. And once they're caught on the block, you go around and you pull. And once you pull, you grab the key. All right. And now for my brief explanation as to why this is going to be three parts. This is basically going to be three parts due to the hell and damnation I'm going to be going through with the boots that, no, with the section that contains the, um, hover boots. And there is a treasure there, you just need the Iron Truth, but I'm not getting it because it's actually a rupee. Now, uh, go over the hook shot to the treasure box, and that should be your key. Hook shot to the treasure box, pass me. And at the time of this recording, I actually got new GameCube controllers. Well, before this, oh, after this recording, I got game controllers, sorry. So, yeah, next time, I won't be having such a finicky seasick because I have a brand new GameCube controller. Anyway, I'm going to use the I, I mean, the Lens of Truth over in that section right there, but before we do, this part can be finicky. You do not want to slip off. And then, you're going to have to use the hover boots once again to keep yourself from being hit by the guillotine. And at the same time, you want to make it across the platform. Alright. Excuse me one second. And I'm back. My cat came to my door and I had to feed it. Anyway, now it's time for us to try to balance our way to this door. Now, we have ourselves one hell of a room here. Invisible spikes, redead, and places where you need to hook shot, which are also invisible. Yep, this is Mega Man's worst nightmare. Aside from the redead. Now, let's take off these hover boots because unfortunately, we're not going to be needing them in this room. And you gotta watch your step. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, getting the bigger on sword. No, you idiot! Get the hell off me! No! Great, I'm back to where I was. I only did it for the magic. I seriously only did that for the magic. Unfortunately, that is not a key that we're looking for. You would think that would be one, but it's not. No, instead, the key is in that room over there. Alright, that's one. Be careful, go around the spikes. Do not rush this room, because you may end up landing on spikes. Ah, oh, goddammit, another rupee chest. Oh, and mind yourself also, I do believe fake chests start appearing in this dungeon. If it's not, this dungeon is definitely the next one. 
But the spirit temple's better than this temple, that's for damn sure. Nope, 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 nope. A little bit more to the right. Am I really that sore of a aim? Come on. There we go. Alright. Oh, that was close. That was so fucking close. Alright, now we're gonna have to aim the hook shot at the ceiling. And now... Why am I using the lens of truth? That's a good way to waste magic. Now that this door is open... Here's what we're gonna do. Kill off all keys. All of them. These buggers need to die. Oh hell no! Let me get my bow and arrow. Screw this. I mean, it's... I mean, that... Killing off all the keys will get you out of the room. However, we can't leave this room just yet. We need some... Reassurance. As in, by reassurance, we need a key. Stupid keys. Aw, oh, it gave me arrows. Alright. <clears throat> that only leaves these two keys. And there's also bomb flowers here. And a Skulltula. I'll be dealing with the Skulltula in just a minute. Let's take care of these keys here. Booyah! Now we can leave. But, not without two things. First of all, this Skulltula right here. Just jump down and grab it. Now, climb up these stairs here. And... You're gonna use the bomb flower since it has a longer fuse than what the actual bombs do. And throw it into the pot. Remember you're trading from Goron City. Now take that key and we'll be going straight to the door. Just remember ladies and gentlemen, keep the lens of truth on. Because... Those spikes are still there, and you don't want to run into them. Well, that and also the hook shots need to be found, too. And oh lord have mercy. This is the reason why I basically wanted to make this a three-parter. This room right here. It is hell incarnate. Patience may seem to be the key, but it is not. You only have a certain amount of time limit before the fans blow you back. And if they blow you back, chances are you will have no control, and they will blow you into the spikes. Yes, I was trying to swat a mosquito. Oh god, no, 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 no! See, what I tell you? This is what this, is what this puzzle does, and I hate this temple for it. If you find yourself ever in trouble by the wind, just roll for it. <coughs> Excuse me. But more importantly, wait until the fans are done before you... ...try to hook shot across. Um, good lord have mercy. Alright. Let's try this shit again. Easy does it because you don't want to run into a Skulltula. These corridors are really damn thin, you know. Alright. Now, we're gonna wait until this thing finished blowing, and then we're gonna hook Sean across. But it's not this all way that's the problem. It's this aisle way. You'll definitely have to use the patience game for this one. There's a hidden wall right over... Not there. No, no, no. Where are you focusing past me? There's a hidden wall right at the end of the hall. However, we're not going there. Instead, we're going into that door over there. 
Why? Because we need to go get a fairy! No! Oh, sweet mother of God. It's this part here. Damn it! <sighs> Chances are I may end up losing a fairy by the end of this temple. I really don't want to. That would suck if I did. No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Now, see, ladies and gentlemen, this is why I hate the Shadow Temple. Simply put, this puzzle is bullets. I mean, patience may be, may be the key, but not if it's in an interval. And not if it's over bottomless pits or in spikes. Alright. Run like hell! Oh god! That was close. Alright, now in this room we go. Now here, you want to play the sun song. No, seriously, you do. Play the sun song. And the reason why you want to play the sun song, not only just to petrify these three dead, but this fairy will appear right here that will heal you of not only all of your magic, but also all of your health. It's a super fairy. You cannot catch these, sadly. Unfortunately, that's just about any everything that's in this room. There's no chest, just that super fairy. If you ever find yourself in, in dire need of a super fairy, that's the only time it'll appear. Oh, there's a chest right here. Never mind. Birdie der. So what's in here? Arrows! Well, it's not a complete waste of time, because we got the fairy that we need, so let's just keep going. Oh god! Fire! No! Fire bad! Um... It would be a wise idea to put a dispel point right here at this point. Why? That's another reason why I went into this room first. So I could bypass all that shit that I just went through. Now then, Lens of Truth, and run from the flames, and go across! Oh god, that was close. Stop following me! Uh, read it again. Oh, actually, give those this time. Same as before, use the song of the I mean the sun songs. Not the song of time, the sun songs, sorry. Kill off all the Gibdos. And that will not only open the door, but I think something else will appear. And it's not the key, trust me. Something tells me that it's just a big chest to throw you off and to dick with you ah yes but magic is great to have at this point yep there's another chest to dick with you because it's another five rupee chest what you are going to need is your bombs and if you would have actually used the lens of truth you find that you won't be able to see anything past that haystack so bomb the haystack I wish that was a haystack. Now you can reveal the chest, which happens to be the key. Now then, another five rupees. Man, I don't need rupees right at this point in time. Now we've come to this point here. We're gonna need to pull out this boulder because this is going to lead us to the ship. And I am going to end it here after I finish dealing with that Skulltula and this boulder. And there is a reason why I'm ending it here. Like I said, 
I probably will end up getting a new controller by the time this recording is finished. And I don't want to screw up too badly and waste time. Not to mention, there is also the matter of the boss. The boss is not long, it's just getting to the boss is a pain in the ass. So that is actually a long thing. It's a long journey in and of itself. And other than that, the only other thing there is to get is the boss key, so... That's basically all that's left for the, la for the next part. But... When it comes down to this, the ship, the ship may take me one or maybe two tries due to the fact that the ship also carries Stalfos. Why did I do that? Let's get the long shot. Yeah, the ship carried Stalfos. So... If I were to battle and I end up falling off the ship or dying, one of the two, I would have to start this whole section all over again. So, when I'm finished, I'm going to set a Ferrari's win here and I'm going to call it an episode. Why? Because I normally I would have actually ended it at this part, but due to the crap that happened in this temple, yeah, you, you can't blame me for actually splitting it up to three parts, just so I can kind of get rid of the tension. Anyway, I'll see you guys in part 30 when I end the Shadow Temple.